Your efforts have landed us here, my faithful friend. The temple is complete, and we are about to embark upon our greatest exploit. For now, relax, and watch as my net runners dance through the web of cyberspace. Once inside, the world is at my fingertips. Begin. Welcome to the Global Defense Initiative Orbital Defense Matrix. The world. Where to strike? Where will the world most keenly feel the blade of GDI treachery? You have done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving the most famous address in the world, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C.'s renowned White House. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 600 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once the seat of Western democracy. U.S. President Robert Fielding, safe at Camp David at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the U.N. statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Fielding labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark, and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea how secure
were to strike, where will the world most keenly feel the blade of GDI treachery? You have done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. Nations today, angry political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving Paris's famed Eiffel Tower. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 700 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble, unearthing 14 more bodies from what was once Paris's most famous landmark. French President Henri Prichard, safe in London at the time of the attack, reiterated his support of the UN statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Prichard labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing attack. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea how security access to the feel the blade of GDI treachery. You have done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. today, angry political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving the British Houses of Parliament and Big Ben, the world's most famous clock. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 1,100 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble, 
unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once the seat of British government. Prime Minister Francis Wetherill, safe at Chequers at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the UN statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Wetherill labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark, and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea. feel the blade of GDI treachery. You have done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving Berlin's famed Brandenburg Gate. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 900 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble, unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once Berlin's most famous landmark. German President Helmut Biermann, safe in London at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the UN statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Biermann labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark, and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea. How security access for GDI
I... We've taken serious... The temple's been blown all to hell. We need to get out of here before... Sir, Topside has suffered significant damage. Structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate GDI will have access to this command center in approximately 20 minutes. United Nations officials have confirmed that Global Defense Initiative assault troops successfully attacked and destroyed the alleged Sarajevo headquarters of the Brotherhood of Nod. This ends a three-day siege which saw GDI and Nod forces engaged in mortal combat. Eyewitnesses and survivors report that, although evenly matched, the GDI forces employed superior tactics and strategy outmaneuvering Nod in what was termed an epic battle. Quoting from a written statement issued earlier today, UN Secretary of Defense Dr. Charles Olivetti praised the men and women of the UN-funded GDI, calling them, quote, tireless defenders of freedom and heroes to history, unquote. Although refusing to disclose specific totals, Dr. Olivetti confirmed reports that heavy casualties were sustained by both sides. Kane, the single-named charismatic Nod leader and self-proclaimed prophet, is among those missing and assumed dead. Discovery and destruction of the Nod Command Center ends more than three years of continued escalating violence sparked by that organization's international terrorist activities. World reaction has been met.